Now, let's take a look at creating appointments with Pipeliner's Appointment Scheduler. To start, navigate to the Tools section of Pipeliner and click Appointment Scheduler. From there, you will be brought to the Meeting List page. Click Create New to begin to configure your appointment settings. You will now be prompted to classify your appointment as a one-on-one -on -one or group meeting. Once you've decided between your two initial appointment options, you will be brought to the scheduler appointment. Start by giving your scheduler a name. Next, we navigate to the Overview tab. Here you will add basic information about the meeting. From here, we will begin to create our availability for this specific appointment type. Use appointment duration to specify the length of your meeting. Options range from 15 to 120 minutes in blocks of 15 minutes. Now that we've established our appointment type, added some basic info about the meeting, and specified our duration, let's go ahead and configure how users can schedule this time with you. You have three options when deciding how long into the future an appointment can be scheduled. You can choose a certain number of days into the future, a range of dates, or indefinitely. Once you've configured your future scheduling preference, you can then set your availability setting and advanced availability settings. To start, confirm your time zone and choose the days of the week and time period within those days that show that you are available to book. Using advanced settings, control the buffer time before and after your appointments to add preparation time in between meetings. Add in minimum notice time to prevent an imminent appointment from being scheduled. Lastly, to control and expertly curate your appointment experience, set your appointment time increment to determine the start time of your meetings, e.g. on the hour or 30 minutes, etc. Now we move on to our Form and Data tab, selecting options to govern how your appointment will be saved into Pipeliner as well as the fields your contact will see when booking. Choose how Pipeliner saves appointments when created by picking an appointment type from your displayed list. Use the Appointment Subject configuration to create a custom subject for the appointment or use the appointment name as the subject. Next, we have fields for the invitee to fill in, and you will see three new Pipeliner fields displayed. Invitee first name, invitee last name, and invitee email. These inputs are mandatory on every booking confirmation page. You can choose how they are labeled on the form. Along with these mandatory fields, you can select from any additional fields that have been added to the appointment form by your PL admins. You can also designate these additional fields as required to ensure pertinent information is captured. It's worth noting that all fields, including any custom fields added to the booking confirmation form, can be used in automatizer processes as personalization options. You can only select and add customer appointment fields that are single-line input, long text, phone, or email fields. You can choose to display a confirmation page or redirect to an external site once a time has been selected by the contact and they have confirmed their appointment. If you choose to redirect, you will need to enter the URL of the site you would like them to be redirected to. Automation is a key feature in our Appointment Scheduler tool. You can choose to enable an automatic appointment reminder and how many minutes in advance the meeting reminder should be sent. If you have Automatizer enabled, you can find some sample processes that you could utilize in your appointment management. From here, click on Create to save your settings. You'll then be sent to a list of all appointment schedules that you have created. There are many ways to monitor appointment data from the appointment scheduler list. You can see the number of created appointments for each page, as well as the number of upcoming, completed, and canceled appointments. You can also drill down into each of these statistics to see the actual appointment saved. Using the chevron icon on the far left side of your appointment, you use the drop-down to preview, edit, copy, and delete your appointment. The click to copy icon to the left of the chevron allows you to copy the appointment URL to apply anywhere. You can now input appointment schedule links into emails. While in the email editor, you can see there is a new option to embed the links into your email directly. Your contact will receive the email and access the appointment schedule booking page. They will see the appointment creator's availability.
When your contact selects a date on the form, they will see all of the available times based on the designated configuration. From there, a user will select and confirm the time. Once they click Confirm, they will be directed to the confirmation form to confirm the three mandatory invitee fields as well as any custom fields that have been added. Once Scheduled Meeting is selected, they'll see a confirmation page, if that option has been selected or they will be redirected to the external site URL. A meeting invitation will be sent automatically, as well as the appointment confirmation with the ability to cancel or reschedule directly. Once the meeting is confirmed, it will be created for the user in Pipeliner.